Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Factorio C Block Let's Play. So, uh, in this episode, we're going to do something that we need to do. Uh, we're going to automate the science, um, the red science. We need to do that so that we can, you know, be researching things all the time. Um, now, obviously, I'm going for steel processing, which only requires red science, which is great. So, yeah. So, what, what we're going to do is we need three assemblers. So, go ahead and craft another assembler. And then... What we need is for these assemblers to be able to get the iron and uh, copper, All right? So uh, I think the best way to do that for now is probably just to um, do one of these and take the iron and copper straight from the furnace. So these assemblers will take some of it, and I mean these inserters will take some of it. These inserters will take um, the rest. So you get three plates each time, so these inserters will get at least one of them. Um, which I think will end up working out. So we will set this to the electromagnetic cores. We will set this to the uh, coils. And then this one, which will stick right there, will go ahead and craft the actual science packs. So we need a couple more inserters. Doot doot. Doot. And then we'll just slap these right there. Change the pickup position. And now we just need to power this whole well, we don't need before we power it all, we need to place down our, our actual lab. And uh, I'll place it here. So like that, and we'll put the drop position right there. <clears throat> now if we just power this all up. <clears throat> Alright, that got its first iron plate. And then this will get a copper plate. Yeah, this requires, so it looks like it, it, this requires four copper plates in order to craft. So I don't think this is actually going to work out. Um, these aren't going to probably craft enough. Well, I don't know, because you make eight of these at a time, so it, it may end up working out. No, probably not. What I'll probably end up having to do is uh, rejigger this a little bit. Yeah, I figured I would. Right, so how to do it. Um, well, there are a couple of ways to do this. None of them are good, Com d depending, considering where we've placed these. Um, I'll need to split this chest into two chests. So instead of storing that in one chest, we'll have to store it in two chests. We can always move it this way once, and that wouldn't screw anything up. Oh, we ran out of power. Well, that's set. It's, it's automated. It's just not ideal at the moment. So we ran out of power. Why did we run out of power? Because we ran out of carbon for the uh, generator. Makes perfect sense. Let's just throw some, we'll throw some coal in there to get this going again. So we ran out of carbon because I haven't automated that yet. And so I have to put the, the coke in manually from way over here. So we need to fix that. We need to move this over to here. Okay, so let's let's fix the problem that we've got. So what we want to do is we want to move this liquefier um, for the crushed coal over to where we're making the crushed coal. Uh, that will require us to move this hydro plant. Because there's no point in keeping it here if we move this. And then, honestly, we should move our sulfuric waste, you know, our sulfur production. Um, down to where down to in this area so that this uh, it's it's near to this uh, here right so let's instead of let's see do I have the resources to do that yeah we're gonna just make a liquefier instead of taking this apart and moving it we're gonna put the new system in place and then swap it over alright so right here is where I'm making carbon so we need the output of our coke to go into here 
but the input for making the coke is the crushed coal. So we need this crusher to be able to get uh, resources out of this coal chest. Because right now this coal chest is where all of our coal is being produced, and this is out of uh, out of fuel. So we'll grab some carbon and throw it in there. We need to make this whole system a bit more um, robust. It's not very good at the moment uh, because this ran out of fuel. This got backed up and it halted our coal production. I gotta move this power pole. Because we need to put this crusher right here if we want it to be able to pull out of this coal chest. And you know what? I do not want to use a burner inserter to run this because it's going. I don't want it to burn up the coal. Okay, so this is going to produce crushed coal. Now we need to be able to get the crushed coal out of here uh, and into the liquefier. So the it, might, it looks like, to me, the obvious answer is to move this. So we're going to move this. We're going to throw a bunch of carbon in here in the meantime, so it doesn't go, so we don't run out. Make a pipe to ground. Slap it there and there. Get rid of these pipes. So that we have access to here. So... Then we take the liquefier and put it roughly somewhere in and around here. And this puts the coal in. Come on, where is it? Here it is. Clean Coke. How long does this take to run when it has the purified water? I don't know. But we have to give it purified water. There's water over here. Okay, we got steel processing, which is great. So now we can make steel plates, which will allow us to get some, uh, some new cool stuff. What we need now, or what will help us out a lot, is uh, electronics assembling machines. So we'll research that. Basically, they only assemble electronic components, and they're only 2x2 two two instead of 3x3, three three, so they're far smaller. Okay, so we need the hydro plant over here somewhere. So we, we're going to need more land, I think. Now we just need to power it up and then run it. So this needs to be water purification because we need purified water. Um, we don't need the salinated water, so I'm just going to clarify it. Now we need to get the purified water over into here. <coughs> yep. So we'll run those pipes. Pipes are easier to run like underground and stuff, so it makes them handy. Handier than uh conveyors for this kind of thing, at least at this point in the game. Got some more coke. Getting this automated will be nice. I won't have to worry about power outages. Oh, but I took away the uh, carbon manufacturing, so that's actually a, a significant issue. Power is going to run out. Um, I'm going to have to jump start it again, but I got the coal to do it, so it's not a big deal. So we'll run that, and then we will. Oh, I can't run it that far, so I'm going to have to do it over here. Ah, thank goodness we could run it that far. Boop, so here comes the, uh, the clean water. So we'll just make some more pipes, run it up over here. Boop, boop, boop. So clean water goes in and sulfuric wastewater comes out. Now we need to get the sulfuric wastewater all the way over to where we're using it, uh, which is over here. Well, if I go like this, I can get past here. And then if I do like this, I can get past that. There we go. So that's what we're going to do. That'll work out. 
I just need to make more pipes. Okay, so our sulfuric wastewater is over here. And now we can just go straight up. I can't afford any more undergrounds. Because they also take stone bricks. Which I actually find a little annoying. Why don't they just take stone pipes? All we're doing is running pipes underground. Okay, so we'll just throw the rest of the sulfur in there since we have so much of it. And we're out of power. But we have successfully relocated the um, the coke production. Now we need to relocate the uh, actual um, carbon production. And to do that, I'll need some pipes. I don't want to use iron, but I also don't think it'll be that easy to get the stone. Let's throw some coal in here. I should throw some coke in there. I shouldn't be throwing coal in. Okay. Um, I also need just a, a standard pipe because we have to put a pipe right there so that we have access to the carbon uh, dioxide. And then we'll just run an underground right there. Uh, two more pipes carbon. Now that we have access to the carbon dioxide, we need to have access to um, the actual crust coal here. Oh goodness. I don't have long inserters yet, so let's see here. Make another underground pipe. Put an underground pipe here and here. I can move this closer. I'll fix this later once I have enough land. But we have enough power now, which is what we needed. Uh, the issue we have at the moment is just that we can't get the crushed coal out fast enough. So since we don't have access to fast inserters yet, because I don't have the resources to make them, we'll just have to use additional normal inserters, which isn't ideal because they use twice as much power. Two inserters uses twice as much power roughly as one fast inserter, so it's always better to use a fast inserter in place of two other inserters. Well, we haven't been researching all this time because we got this, this finished. Um, we're going to research long inserters because that will solve several of our issues. This is still running properly. Maybe instead of baking bricks I should just uh, leave it as crushed stone. Anyway, our systems are running. Uh, plenty of coal in here. Although we do need to automate that later. This is working. We're gaining a surplus of coal in addition to crafting our coke. I need additional pellet assemblers because this is obviously not uh, running right. This isn't, it's super backed up. And this one still is not gaining, getting enough fuel. And the main reason for that is just that it can't get the fuel out fast enough. Again, we need more, uh, either more inserters or I need to rotate this. So if we get rid of that, I need to put a I'll need to put a pole here and then I can put a pole there. I can get rid of this, turn it down here and put the drop position down. And that will make it faster. As we do. Of course, this isn't getting enough uh, fuel either. So we need another inserter over here. This is why putting them right next to each other and using the corner technique is so important. We're going to have to hook this up to a clarifier at some point um, with an overflow valve because I don't think 
Do I even have access to overflow valves? No, I need to research this next. Once long inserters are done, because that's going to be very useful. Once long inserters are done, I need to, re I need to research uh, the overflow valve. Okay, well, uh, what do we accomplish today? Well, we've automated the um, process of producing our uh, sulfuric wastewater as well as our uh, ca carbon. Um, ooh, this is going to be an issue. So when carbon builds up, this will quit running, which means this will quit, quit running. So we need to be able to offload the carbon, like I thought. So I need another belt. I need a chest. I always use iron chest just because that's what I've got. You know, I could actually use a burner inserter here because uh, I don't care if it burns carbon. And uh, if it's slower, it'll mean that it won't drain uh, the belt. But it'll also prevent this whole system from backing up. Uh, this should work. If it doesn't work, I'll fix it. So we've automated our coal. It's not a very pretty system. It's completely spaghetti and, and horribly space inefficient. Um, I need to, before the next episode, I need to mass produce myself some land so that I can really increase the amount of land area we have over here. Over here. That will allow me to make this whole area much, much better. Um, I'll rejigger these to compress them closer together. Uh, we'll add more of these uh, pellet assemblers and uh, we'll have a much better system. Once we unlock, now here's the thing, when you're playing C block, um, this, uh, more inserters one techni technology, this greatly increases the, um, if you have this mod, the mod that allows you to adjust the inserters, which I highly recommend, Bob's adjustable inserters, once you unlock more inserters one, it opens an, up huge possibilities for compressing down the size, the footprint of all of your assembly lines. Because if I can kind of visualize this for you, um, if we place down an inserter and we currently look at the options we have, we only have the, uh, you know, the four cardinal directions. Once we unlock long inserters, um, we'll gain access to two tiles away, okay, on all of our inserters, which is awesome. Once you research more inserters, more inserter options, you gain the ability to select certain diagonal positions uh, for your inserters, which means that you could pick up, uh, pick up from this upper tile, and you can actually drop onto the tile directly adjacent to it, like there. And what that will do for you is make the travel time on your inserters so, so quick, so short, that it will it will operate extremely quickly and uh, the yellow inserter essentially becomes a fast inserter not to mention you can compress the, the, the size of everything because you're you're picking up and placing on a tile directly next to itself um, we'll see this you'll see you'll get to see this in action when I um, when we get there whoa 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 what's happened here we're out of coke this isn't okay so we've we're gonna have to fix this sooner than I thought um, because also sulfuric wastewater uh, system is so completely full that um, that uh, it's not producing anymore which is a problem so we don't have um, unfortunately we don't we don't currently have uh, overflow valves. So what I'm going to have to do is just run this clarifier, drain the pipes, and then uh, and then let it run again. But we're researching fluid control now, so by, the, by next episode, because I'm going to let this run, by next episode we'll have overflow valves, and I'll show you how those work. They are really great. They, they, they really improve um, the, really the whole system. All right, so we'll disconnect that now. But yeah, that's the problem. We got full up on sulfuric wastewater. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I, I really hope that you enjoying you're enjoying the the C block series. I'm really enjoying it actually. It brings a lot of new life into the into Factorio because I'm I'm working with machines and stuff that I've never worked with before because I've never played Bob's or Angels before. So uh, 
I, I really thank you guys a lot. Like and comment this, the video down below. It's extremely helpful for, on these videos that get fewer views. And uh, stay tuned for more. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.